Shalom Israel. I just start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makakudash, the Buanas of the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to like out there doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. All right, and I wanted to start off by getting into the scripture here in the book of um, Hebrews 6 and 10. Slaki. <clears throat> um, and it reads, uh, for the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work of faith. I mean, to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And, you know, just thinking about this, one thing, one thing that I have to keep us going, you know, is the remembrance of things, you know? The remembrance of things of like, you know, how we came into the truth, how, you know, uh, blessed we are, you know, to actually have this truth, how grateful we should be for the most high to be it, to allow us, you know, uh, with his grace and his mercy, you know, to, to proclaim his truth, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth and to let, you know, uh, our voices be his mouthpiece, you know, to the masses of people, you know, throughout the earth, you know, and a lot of that, you know, just uh, thinking about like the, the works of, you know, how the apostles, they may mention things of, you know, their past, uh, certain situations, things that they've been through within this truth, things that most have got them out of, you know, we should have that same, that same mindset, you know, because <clears throat> like the scriptures say, hope deferred, make up the heart sick. So, you know, we desperately long and then we waiting for the kingdom. You know, but one of those things that has to keep us going is, you know, uh, the patience toward the script, towards the Lord, you know, the patience toward the promise and constantly remembering all of the things that the Lord allowed us to make it through, you know, uh, in different ways, how the Lord showed us his mercy, how the Lord showed us, you know, that this is the truth, man, you know, and like, uh, you know, me thinking about certain things of me first coming into the truth. And how the Lord just uh, showed me that this was the truth. Because some of the first questions that I actually had, they were answered without me actually having them. Having to ask someone. You know, the first three lessons that I learned about was things that I just recently had on my mind prior to me coming into the truth. You know, or seeing chariots real low for the first time. You know, different things like that. You know, uh, the, the works that we have put in, they're not to be gloated about. But to look upon, you know, the work that we have done. So it's like that should keep us motivated to continue, you know, to do the work. Right. Because when we look back at um, <clears throat> when we look back at. Is it first Maccabees 2, I believe. Look back at some of the works of our forefathers. Right. This is uh, first Maccabees 2. Damn, it's hot as motherfucker. First Maccabees 2. And um and I started uh verse <clears throat> verse 49. It says, Now when the time drew near that Mattathias should die, he said unto his sons, Now have pride and rebuke gotten strength in the time of destruction and the wrath of indignation. Now therefore, my sons, be zealous for the law. And give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. And that's what we do. Even though at this present time he was talking on a on a physical note through what was going on, you know, as <clears throat> as you know, the uh, you know, the enemy, Esau was coming to slaughter off our people and you know, trying to make us sacrifice, you know what I'm saying, to their idols and, and sacrifice swine on the altar and different things like that, you know. Hey, damn. <laughs> See that all praise you. How about Shimei? I was shot. See, I'm thinking about <laughs> the Lord <laughs> uh, reminiscing on our works. Hey, the Lord just slowed me down from me getting into an accident for somebody acting stupid on the road. Man, that's that's how that's how the Lord works, man. You know, people who don't know how to drive on these damn roads, man. But um, uh, getting back, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> verse 50, it says, Now, therefore, my sons, be zealous 
for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time, so shall you receive great honor in the everlasting name. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation, and it was imputed into, unto him for righteousness? Uh, Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, for being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Uh, um uh, for fulfilling the word, was made judge of Israel. Caleb, for bearing witness for the congregation, uh, received the heritage of the land. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, for being zealous and fervent for the law, was taken up into heaven. Ananias, Azarias, and Mishael, by believing, were saved out of the flame. Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mouth of lions. And thus, ye con and thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put the trust in him shall be overcome. So that's all, all those different things are, are part of, or should be a part of our remembrance. You know, because these great men, they had to think in, the, in certain situations like, yo, and especially during the time of the Maccabees and how they was dealing with it and, and encouraged that, you know, um, the, the woman with the seven sons, you know, the courage that they had and the strength and courage that she had, you know, they knew. For, and the one that sticks out makes me think of, I believe it was the one they, they took off his hands, if I'm not mistaken, or took off one of his hands. And I believe he said, you know, uh, the Lord gave me these and he had given them to me again, you know, and, and the other one said, you know, it's nothing for the Lord to raise me up in a, in a, in a reincarnation. You know, so those men, what did they have to think upon? They had to have the remembrance of the works that they've been doing, you know, in the name of your Lord, in the name of the Lord, them standing firm, you know, by the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. They had to think upon all of the great men that were before them, you know, that stood tall for the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know, they had to think upon those things, man. So that's that's a big part of what has to carry us, you know, every single day. And knowing that the Lord is uh, won't forget the works and everything in which we put in. Even though uh, foolishness to the Lord is preaching, you know, but for us, it's, it's salvation. You know, it's, it's leading towards our salvation. It's, it's a part of this ministry. It's a part of what we have to do as prophets of the Lord. In order to obtain salvation Because what we're all appointed a specific job You know by the Lord We know it's going to be men that's going to come in at 11th hour Hey they deemed a different lot Or it's, or it's uh, people That's just uh, support us You know hey they may be deemed a different lot You know everybody that's a part of the elect Because you just not only have The 144,000 But you have those that are scattered abroad who, else, who, who also The Lord is going to choose They may not necessarily be prophets of the Lord, you know, but they will still be chosen, so they're still, so therefore, they're still part of the elect. Now, some of them may come across the word and different things like that, you know, and just may be firm believers from afar, you know, depending on their situation. Everybody's lot is going to be different, you know, but when we dwell upon these scriptures, we have great faith knowing that everybody who stood tall for the Lord, everybody who held their guns, so to speak, you know, um, who stick to their guns, so to speak, you know, they was rewarded. They was rewarded. And they're going to be rewarded with the kingdom of heaven, you know, because it's all about what? That endurance, you know? The same that uh, he that endured to the end shall be saved. We know that's what it's all about, that endurance. And this remembrance of our things of our forefathers, that's part of the endurance. Us doing the works on a daily basis, that's part of our endurance. You know, us coming out on our highways and byways, that's part of our endurance. You know, us showing brotherly love, us paying tithes, all of these different things are part of our endurance. You know, us dealing with any bullshit you have to deal with on the job, that's part of the endurance. You know, all of these different things have to be brought into, into a perfect mind frame, you know, as us 
uh, uh, struggling and striving for the kingdom of the Lord. You know, uh, I was listening to um, a podcast and um, the rapper Jadakiss, he said that he had got some knowledge from another rapper and he said it takes he said it takes a special person to grind. Hey, well, it takes a special person, you know, to stand tall for you, how will you, how will shot. And Lord willing, that will be us. As long as we stay firm and we remember the acts of our forefathers, we remember the work that we have put in and knowing that the Lord is not uh, uh, forgetful of the works and the sacrifices that we made in his name, all for his glory, you know? So, you know, with that, you know, I hope this segment was edifying. And I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakudash, the Buwanis of the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lekout there, doing this work of faith and live with love and true sincerity. Shalom.